out of my culture, I'm, I'm mixed. I'm Cree, but also Jewish. So um, those are two pretty distinct cultures, but uh, I celebrate and I'm proud of both of them. My name is Gerard Fox. I'm from Kwanlun First Nation here in the capital city of White Horse Yukon. I appreciate my culture because it's made me who I am. I base all my morals, values, and beliefs in my culture. I'm really family oriented. Um, basically, who I am. Hey, my name is Autumn Jules. My Clinket name is Sky to You. I'm from Teslin Clinket Council. And I feel very strongly about my culture. I'm very in depth with it. I'm trying to learn it right now from elders and from my mom. And uh, it's really important to learn your culture because if the youth don't start learning it, then we won't have it in the future. Use it from the sky, land and earth begins. I sing so girl. I sing so I sing so girl. Through certain aspects of my spirituality, I burn medicines. Um, I put tobacco down for offerings. Um, I go talk to Cree elders when I have opportunities to do so. I express my culture through song, through my activities, how I live life on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, like just a simple example is I was taught by elders that kindness is not just an act that you do once in a while, it's a way of life. You can't say you're kind when you just do it once in a while. You have to live it every single day. I also work um, uh, extensively in Indigenous media art, so Indigenous filmmaking. So I do things like work for film festivals and um, do workshops. With I show it just like I said through hand games, through singing, through through the drum. The drum is a very powerful, very powerful tool that you can use to expand the culture when it comes to traditional people. Um, I show it in my community when I go to pot lodges or dancings. It's really powerful at a dance because you can feel the power all around. Even in a prayer circle, we show our culture with our language, because our language is such a big, important component in our culture.